So today I just wanted to talk about Trump supporters. Now I'm not going to say that they're deplorable. I'm not going to say that they're bad people. But I will say that they choose to be who they want to be. It's not anything that I would want to be. And I've got some clips here that just kind of highlight some of these people and some of what they say. And again, they, they choose to be who they want to be. And I want to kick it off with this lady. She's got a podcast called FN Friday. And the fear that she has, and a lot of them, I didn't realize this, but a lot of them have a fear that, that something bad, that an ill wind blows, and that something bad is going to happen to Donald Trump so bad that it's going to take him off the map permanently, if you know what I mean. Um, and I, I don't know where they get this from, but here she is, folks. Have a listen to this. Hey. Um, so they're still trying for this case. It obviously, you know, he's got four criminal trials uh, waiting to be... Um, to I mean, be what he fears, what he has to fear, it doesn't matter all these different things because certainly no, but, in cases, if he can still run from prison. From prison. And uh, he can pardon himself if uh, it's a federal uh, court sentence. If it's, a, if it's a state sentence, it'll be more difficult as president to pardon himself from prison. But the real fear about Trump is, of course, that he'll be killed by these forces that... Uh, support NATO because the Trump has made it clear that he uh, he's not a fan of U.S. Uh, overfunding of NATO, and that's the fear I think the Trump supporters will have, not these court cases. So he could be president from prison. That's not a problem. They're not concerned about any of that. He can still be president from prison. What they're concerned about is NATO forces, evidently, because Donald Trump is not a fan of NATO. They're concerned that NATO forces are somehow going to infiltrate Mar-a-Lago, I guess, take them out while he's eating chocolate cake by the pool or something. It, it's, you know, they, they are who they want to be. And, and they're not the only ones, folks. Alex Jones and Roger Stone, they're out there saying the same thing. But they're saying it for totally different reasons. Have a listen to this. What do they do now? They're in full panic mode. Nothing's worked for them. I'm really worried about Trump. Well, they're they're capable of anything. I didn't even want to think it because it's so unthinkable. I mean, look, I read a I wrote a book on the assassination <laughs> of John <laughs> Kennedy, the man who killed Kennedy, the case against LBJ, where I made that case. They killed one president. Uh, I pray to God for the absolute protection of his servant, Donald J. Trump. Okay. Keep praying, Roger. Um, so his concern isn't NATO. They're, they're just not getting together, I guess, on the concerns that they have. But they're, they're worried that, you know, he's irreplaceable, I suppose. And I'll agree with that. They've got another factor called age that they have to watch out for because he's getting older. And when he's gone, as we all end up being gone at some point, he's gone. Um, you know, at his age, I would be more concerned about that than NATO coming in and taking him out while he's eating his chocolate cake by the pool. <laughs> but, so I got to show you this. Okay, moving along here, some of the MAGA supporters are putting out deep fakes, but you can always pick out the glitches in the deep fakes. Look at the hands, folks, look at the hands. So on Donald Trump's left hand, it looks like it's webbed. Here's another one. Um, in this case, the young black man that's next to him, the, the hands look like they have a big four inch fingernail uh, you know that's problematic bit of a glitch there um and then MAGA supporters they said this today too folks they demanded to know if navajo congressman is here illegally <laughs> Jeez, i'm serious a navajo congressman they wanted to know if he was here illegally that's what they do if somebody looks like they don't belong here they they say send them back a lot of them do not all, again not all but enough Send him back, go home to where you came from, get out of the country. He was harassed and by Arizona Trump supporters. Get out of the country. I mean, and here's a guy who is the country. I mean, he, his feet were here thousands of years <laughs> before anybody else got it. I mean, you just can't make it up. Now, they choose who they, they want to be, just like anything, folks. These MAGA supporters, they choose who they want to be. Now, listen to this guy. Um, another guy who chooses to be what he wants to be, MAGA supporter. What do you think of Nikki Haley? Did you ever consider her? Um, you know, why I got 
like say you don't really want to put it on. Let me hear it. Yeah, bring it on. The woman's not going to be a good president. She's going to have no balls to scratch. She's just going to scratch her head. Really? The woman's good for her in my book is having babies and taking care of the house. And, and uh, but that's that's the old thing, you know. Uh, but I'm old school. No. So you never no. even That's not old school. Beca mainly because she's a woman. Because she's female. I mean... Females, don't take me wrong, females know what they're doing, but they still got to have a little bit of guidance. Uh, Trump would be the one to guide her through the... I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, did this man even have a mother? Or was he just hatched out of like a MAGA egg someplace? I mean, that 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 thinking is not old school. That's retrograde. That's backward. But he chooses to be this way. And I, I'm surprised that he's made it this far and nobody's called him out for it. And then here's, this is today, folks, again, on CNN. A, a fellow said this. Have a listen. Another MAGA supporter. I want Joe Biden out of the White House. Do you think Donald Trump won the 2020 election or do you think he lost it? I think he won. We won. You think? We lost. You did lose. To trickery. No trickery. But you it's an election. But you the 2020 election was stolen, just to be yes. clear? Yes, yes. Big time. Even after several years of evidence proving otherwise, you still don't believe that? Well, nothing has been proven because everything is, uh, has been a cover-up. You didn't so, prove you lost. Yes, but I do believe that it was stolen. You didn't prove that Biden lost, for God's sakes. I mean, it was kicked out out of how many court cases, folks? I mean, these people are, they again, they choose to be who they want to be. Now, here's some Nikki Haley supporters, folks. And I want you to listen to them because I think there's a bigger movement out there that thinks like this. Uh, independents, regular, everyday Republicans that are common sense. Have a listen to this. If she drops out, would you be disappointed if she endorsed Trump? I don't really think she will. I think, it's, I think she she'll does, just keep... She does, uh, I'll vote Democrat. No. That's all there is to it. He's going to vote Democrat. And I think there's more people than you think that, that look at things this way. It's not always about Trump with these people. And that's, this is a bigger segment. This is like a secret segment of independents and Republicans that are out there, folks, that feel this way. Now, don't get me wrong. We're going to have to get the vote out. But I think we've got people like this that are going to help do that. So here's another person, Alan Texas, today on Fox News. Um, why they even put stuff like this out? I mean, this is Fox News. This is pro MAGA stuff, and this is this is backwardation, retrograde thinking. I can't believe she said that kind of thinking. And again, they choose to be who they are. NBC just reported that Michelle Obama has said she will not run for president. Thank God. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Ainsley said, I would love the reaction from from a woman in the crowd. And, and I would vote for a woman, and especially, you know, Nikki Haley, I'm just going to say this. She's probably menopausal. We don't what? need that. Okay. She said, how do you vote for people, regardless of their gender, just the right person for the job? God. Dear Lord, help me. I would not vote for a woman, and she's probably menopausal. I mean, that... They choose to be who they are, folks. But I don't have to like it. And you don't have to like it. But this this is the reality. This is who they are. And they're willing to say this on TV. 